All right, this is a really uh, quick video tutorial on how to enter a flight plan into the PMDG 700, uh, and I believe it would also work for the 600 uh, flight management computer, or MCDO as they call it in the other aircraft. So once you get your aircraft up and running, you know, powered up, not engines, but, you know, just uh, powered up, you're, you're sitting at the gate, you're now ready to put in the flight plan. And with the 700 or the 600, uh, you, know, you have to put in your the POS position. So if you uh, go on over to, I've already done it, but uh, let's see, POS. Yeah, I've already uh, did that. Uh, so uh, this is just for, you know, actually entering in the flight plan itself. So I wanted to show you a flight plan. Uh, we kind of selected a little bit of a uh, uh, detailed, or because we're going from Los Angeles here to uh, Baltimore. And uh, so I wanted something that was a little bit more lengthy to show you <coughs> how entering in the flight plan works. It's pretty simple. Uh, you know, a lot of people, they import it from Simbrief and do it that way. But, um, you know, this is nice because then you understand uh, the, the, the different pieces that make up the flight plan. For example, you have a, uh, a departure and you have uh, a uh, transition over here off of the departure and then you got a whole bunch of waypoints uh, these are waypoints right here uh, DCT that means direct to so you're going from this waypoint direct to HGO then direct to this guy here then direct to SPI and so forth once you get close to your airport you have an arrival right which you usually you don't always have an arrival but in this case we do so we're gonna put that in so Anthem 3, and here is the transition on to the arrival. Then <coughs> you have the runway that you plan on a landing, and in order, and, and that runway has an approach to it. And uh, you can have different ways of getting on to the approach. Well, those different ways are called vias. So you get to 33L approach via a certain waypoint and um, so we'll take a look at that as well so let's get started so this is the this is the flight plan that we're going to be entering into the FMC all right so uh, first thing over here in the FMC uh, after you uh, put in the uh, position or the POS in it you've done that uh, now we can go to the route. So we go to route. The origin is going to be KLAX. So you just type it in and then just click up here. These are called LSK buttons. So just put in, push the LSK button for the origin. And then where are we going? We're going to KBWI. And that goes into the destination. You can, if you want, put in the flight number and we are AAL 88 you don't have to but put it in there anyway and then the runway that you plan on departing in our case is 25 right 25 right at LAX and this will be used when you set up your departure now that we've done that we can go to departure arrival button and we're now ready to set up the departure so you click on the departure and over here on the right let's go find the runway so it's already selected so if you just select it again it just makes it the only runway in the list that you see we are leaving Orca 5 so here are the SIDS on the left standard instrument departures right so we're going to go find Orca 5. There it is, Orca 5. And then in the flight plan, we notice that Orca 5, our next 
thing is uh, LAS. So that's going to be the transition. LAS is the transition. So we choose uh, LAS right here. Right. So here is the departure, ORCA 5, and the transition off of the departure is LAS or uh, Las Vegas, right? And then over here you have the runways that we plan on departing. So this is good, right? Now we go to route. Okay, and over here on the route it just takes us back to the original, the origin and the destination. From here we go to next page. So you've got two pages up here. Go to next page and we'll actually start to see the route that we've set up so far. And all we did was took ORCA 5 to LA, uh, dot LAS, that's the transition. And so this departure, uh, departure takes us to LAS. Now what's next in the flight plan? Let's see. Let me just see if I can do this here. Oh, oh poo poo. Hold on. Let's see if that works. Okay, let's move it over a little bit so we can, I just want to be able to activate the window real, real easy. Okay, here it is right here. Yep, okay. So, ORCA 5 to LAS, we have that. Now, this thing right here is an airway, and an airway is essentially a highway that has its own path and its own waypoints while you're on the airway. And you enter an airway just like you do on a freeway. You enter the freeway from a street and then you exit the freeway uh, off of a off on an off-ramp or, or a street. Same thing here. You enter the airway via a street which is going to be LAS. So you enter the airway at LAS and you're flying, flying, flying along on the freeway and then you exit the freeway at DVC. Now, when you are programming this into um, the uh, flight management computer, the FMC, there's a way of doing it. So let's move this out of the way. And right now, we've gone to LAS. We're ready to get onto the airway. So you put in the airway, just type it in. It is J146. And the airways go on the left. So click on the left. You're on the airway, you're flying, you're flying, you're flying. Now, where do we exit the airway? Well, the exit is DVC. So now you type in DVC, and that goes over here on the right. Okay, so work a five departure, go to, to uh, LAS, hop onto the airway, take that, and exit at DVC. From there, let's go back, right? From there, we're at DVC right now. Now we're saying once you get off of the airway, you're going to go direct to HGO. So HGO, all right? So let's put in HGO, HGO, and that goes over here on the right. Okay? So again, if you follow it, there's a departure. Head to LAS, hop on the airway, exit at DVC, and then we're going to go direct to HGO. And now we're going to go direct to this thing. Now, this is a different one. I hope it goes in right. But this guy right here, KK57C, let's see what that is. K, K, 5, 7, C. Is that allowable, or did I just put my foot in my mouth? Oh, it did work. Good. So there's our direct. So from HGO, we're going to go direct to KK57C. Then we're going to go direct to SPI. So we type in SPI. These are all waypoints. So there you go on the right. Ah, now, uh-oh, we got something here. Which one, which one are you talking about? Well, if you want to make sure, usually it's the first one closest to uh, to you at that point in the in the flight but to make sure if you come over here 
to your flight plan and you go down to where the flight, pan, flight plan starts, um, you can actually see here Denver for, we're still on, there's HGO, there's HGO, there's KK. All right, so here's SPI, 112.7, that's the one we want. So 112.7, so you select this guy, okay, and then there's SPI. So we're going to go to the next page, and let's go back to our flight plan, and where do we go to after SPI? We are going to VHP, so we type in VHP, put that in. From VHP, we go to NUSMM. NUSMM. And we put that in. Okay, now NUSSM right here happens to be the transition to get on to Anthem 3 arrival. So Anthem 3 arrival is the arrival for Baltimore that we plan on taking. So at this point you click on the departure arrival and now we're going to set up the arrival. So let's go to arrival and it looks like we plan on landing 3-3 left right here. Now I've not looked at 3-3 left yet so I don't know but here it is right here. 3-3 left. We plan on doing that and then on the left we're going to choose the arrival, where the arrival is Anthem 3. So we go here, and if you look at the flight plan, you can see that to get to Anthem 3, the transition is Newsom, N-U-S-M-M. -M. So you come back over here to your arrival, and there it is right there. So we choose it and go there. Now here's the question. Um, for your approach, Remember, we were talking about the the uh, ar the approach might have different ways of getting to that approach, <coughs> or getting to that runway, getting onto the the straight way for the approach. So, uh, what I'm going to show you here is let's go take a look at ILS 33 left over at KBWI. Let's do this. Let's bring up. <clears throat> and I see Jans right here. So just keep that in mind, Jans. We're going to find out where Jans is on that approach. So let's go take a look at the approach at 33 left. ILS, we're going to want this one here. So let's take a look at it. Let's see what that looks like. And where is Jans? Where is Jans? Oh. So Jans is, is, is right here at the end. So th this is an easy one, right? So it's right here, way out here. So we'll go ahead and choose Jans. So we're, we're coming up from probably the west, you know, and, um, you know, tacking on to Jans right here and then making our turn coming in, right? Uh, so let's just choose Jans. <coughs> we want to get on to the approach via Jans. That's how that works. So came back over here and we click on Jans. Then we go back to route and we just take a look. Now there's a vector. <coughs> there's a vector in here. And uh, so just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and look at some other stuff here. Okay. All right, so we'll go activate and then we will execute to get the route actually inserted. Now if you go to legs, now we need to go find if there are any discon discos or discontinuities in the flight. So we just go at the, <coughs> excuse me, you go at the very beginning here, take a look, you have vectors, leave those alone, right? And let's go to the next page. We're going along, okay, so far nothing. So far, okay, here is the, this is the uh, via, I oh know this is the uh, 
the transition to the arrival of Anthem. So we go next, next, next. There's Anthem, right? Jabber, doo -doo -doo -doo. We're, we're flying along, flying along. Okay, and then here's Hook, and then we have Vectors. <clears throat> now on these Vectors, you'll notice, once you hit Hook, it's at 155, right? 155 degree uh, heading. The Vector is also 155 degree heading. So what will happen is when you hit Hook, <clears throat> and you reach Hook, you'll end up being on the vectors. And this means that in real life, you would be expecting the air traffic controllers to give you a vectors to get to JANS. Um, because JANS is, uh, looks like it's off to the right. Maybe you're off to the left, I don't know. Uh, 155, it's a, it's a little bit of a turn. I think it's off to the left. Um, that might be to the right. I don't know. Anyway, you would get vectors to jans, and vectors are nice because they give you a chance to slow down. They give you a chance to do whatever you have to do before you actually go direct to jans. But anyway, everything looks good, uh, and then once you get over here, you know you start looking at your uh, missed approach. So here's the runway that you would end up taking, but in the event that you had to do a go around uh, or missed approach, then you would follow these instructions right here. So that, in a sense, is a quick way of, of putting in the uh, flight plan. Uh, this was an extensive one because we're going, you know, across, you know, to uh, whatever. So <clears throat> that's that one. Now, what if your um, destination does not have an arrival. And a perfect example on that is like uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. So let me see what I got here. Let's go here. I'm going to go up here. And then hold on one second because I'm going to do a new flight. And we're going to do one from uh, KLAX to KJAC, right, and we'll choose the PMDG 700, I'm doing this off screen, and um, C135, okay, and here is the uh, doodad, Pico, Moss, BNW, Jack, well, I think we're good on that, well, anyway, I'm not going to go through that, I just wanted to show you how to put in a real quick flight plan. So that's it. Um, easy peasy, not a big deal. You set up your, uh, your what's this here, perf? No. Uh, what is it up here? Route. What's over here on this page? Route. Yeah. So you would set up your origin, your departure, and your uh, arrival, do that, your destination. And then from there, you go to your departures, you set up your departures over here, set all that up, and then you would go to route, and you will, would go ahead and start inputting your waypoints, your direct twos here, your airways, all the way through to the end. When you get to the end, then you set up your arrival and do put all that in, and uh, then you go check for any flight discontinuities, and uh, you would you would fix those. If you had a flight discontinuity, then um, you know usually you would just grab the waypoint that is below the discontinuity, and you would pop it into the uh, the four boxes that you see, or five boxes that you see, and that would fix that discontinuity. But this isn't really about the discontinuity. It's really just about entering the flight plan and getting that squared away. So I hope this helped. And uh, leave your comments uh, and everything, questions or whatever, in the box below or in the comment section. Thank you.